Well, hi again, YouTube. Hey, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's just, you know, life. Things get busy, and uh, there's a lot going on, and sometimes it's just hard to find the time to, to, to set aside to be able to, to work on one of these things. And the videos take quite a while to put together and to edit. And um, Anyway, uh, that aside, I do apologize. It's been a little while. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about uh, basically laser, engra laser, <laughs> laser engravers for dummies. Uh, I put off getting a laser engraver for a long time because I really didn't know if I could figure out the computer end of it. Uh, I hate computers. I've never been good with computers. They don't make sense to me. So I've, I've really been apprehensive about that side of it. But a uh, um, little while ago, actually it's uh, probably 23 or 24 days ago, <laughs> I'm on the, still on the trial and it's counting down. I can't remember what it told me this morning. Uh, I've decided to go ahead and, and bite the bullet and, and try a laser engraver. And uh, so I've uh, got the um, uh, Sculpt Fun S9 and I'm using Lightburn. And I have to say, dummies can figure out how, how to use lasers. I really can. It was a piece of cake to assemble. Um, Lightburn, I'm very impressed. It's a very powerful uh, program. It's not hard to learn but there's a lot to it so it's uh, there is a long learning curve just because there's so many things to to figure out but within a day or two I was making um, just little labels like that's a little key fob I made for one of my customers and there's another one I made for one of my customers and they're, they're still not great there's still some burnage on them but uh, I'm, I'm learning I'm figuring it out uh, there was something else fun here I wanted to show you um, there's something else I'm just figuring out if you can see it up there uh, let's see if I can get a background for it there you go and that's uh, cutting paper so I'm kinda playing with that right now I've actually just uh, loaded something to the computer that I'm getting ready to, to burn and uh, so that's kind of why I made this I, the, this video is because I it got me thinking about uh, not having talked to you guys for a while. So I am, I am learning it. It's slow. Uh, I've put in a fair bit of time, but uh, um, it's kind of fun. It's a, a change from what I'm used to, and uh, I don't know if I can get to where I'm, I'm making products to sell or not. That remains to be seen. But uh, I am having fun, um, and I just I want to reassure you that uh, lasers are manageable. Uh, they're, they're really not that hard to figure out. Uh, again, the biggest part is the, the computer and it's not hard. It just takes a while to figure things out. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and I'm not going to pretend to show you how to actually do anything today. Um, I just want to reassure you that it can be done. So there's, there's a few things I want to show you that I've, I've done. Um, I've purchased, I got to uh, a couple of accessories and uh, just show you those real quick so for you for you guys that are debating whether or not to get into uh, laser engravers uh, I just want to show you some of the things I've done and a little bit of the setup I've got here so you can uh, kind of help visualize what you might be able to try and do so I'm gonna show you a few accessories and things that I've uh, gone ahead and gotten and got set up and no oh, neighbors <laughs> and I'll, I'll put up uh, some uh, descriptions or, or some links down in the description if uh, you're interested in those products then you'll know where to go to, to find them uh, but I'm simply set up on a, a, a Mac um, what is an iMac and it works very well I had no problem with that I'm, I'm an Apple fan and uh, Apple is so easy to use and uh, the light burn loaded onto Apple no problem at all it's very very easy and let's see there's my my laser engraver set up so let me back up here a second so you can see the big picture okay so I've got everything set up on my desk here it really doesn't take up much room at all that's a, a six foot table it doesn't take up much room I got computer and printer or computer and, and laser and that's the S9 and I was just starting to get set up to do another another print or another burn and this enclosure, I, I had set it up in the shop, and it was very inconvenient because I don't have a, a computer out there. 
Um, so then my next deal was to get the uh, enclosure so I could bring it in the house. And this was a, a really good enclosure. I really like it. It was cheap. It was 39 bucks, including the fan. And uh, it's kind of a, a stretchy material. So it's got, a, it's got a metal frame, if you can see it down in there. It's got a metal frame that just slides together in, in plastic fittings. It probably took 10 minutes to assemble it. And then the, the, the cover, I guess, it's a little bit rubbery and stretchy and the bottom's elastic and it stretches around the frame there's no no uh, velcro ties so it's actually got uh, some good tension to it because again it is kind of springy and stretchy and and i really like it uh it's got the amber amber cover so it helps to deaden the uh, the laser um even though you you can still see it i, I would always wear my glasses but uh, it just it does help deaden it when i moved this in the house i was really kind of paranoid because my wife has a very bad allergy, well not allergies, asthma, very bad asthma. And uh, so I was very concerned. But um, I can burn for an hour and she doesn't even notice, she has no idea. Uh, yeah, she doesn't smell anything. So this, uh, this enclosure works very, very well. I'm uh, quite pleased with it. And especially for the price, that's amazing. They also have the option, if, if you don't want the fan or don't need the fan, they have the option of putting a, an interior light in it. <clears throat> you, you can buy it just the enclosure or you can buy it with a light or a fan and I figured a light was easy to do so I went ahead and got the fan just uh, uh, mainly so I could get going I wouldn't have to figure figure out how to vent it I'd have all that stuff ready to go uh, let's see it comes with uh, some magnets oh no no I'm sorry I'm getting things mixed up here um, okay and then there, I vented it out into the garage just got a hole in my in my wall and stuck it through into the garage. I started using the window, but that was a pain because it was I didn't have any foam to fill up the hole and it was blowing smoke back in the house. Um, and then I got the uh, air assist. And I don't know if you can see it down on there. Mine, the lens, put the uh, the air nozzle uh, or on the 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 pickup side over on the left which none of the th stuff I've seen online, sh it always shows it on the right and nothing on the left. And so it interferes a little bit with the home position, but uh, it worked out fine. It just finds its own home or finds, you know, when you run it over to where the hose stops it. And then you turn the computer, or turn the, the laser on, then that becomes your home. So that worked out fine. Uh, and there's the, the compressor for the uh, air assist. And so I've got the variable speed for the fan, the exhaust fan, and the air compressor, air pump, whatever you want to call it. And this cover is very, very light. So all I have is one cable and the air hose, and then I can just lift it off and, and move it out of the way if I need to. And then inside, I got the, the honeycomb. And again, I found a, a very inexpensive one, uh, I think $25.00. And it was 400 by 400, and uh, it's magnetic. It came with uh, came with magnets, which is really nice for for holding your project down. It did come with with buttons that you can push through, so they're very low profile. You can push them through, but they do distort the the honeycomb a little bit. So if that bothers you, then you may not want to use those. But it, it's a very simple, compact setup and works very very well I have no problems with it at all I'll put links in the uh, description for the accessories I've gotten and so far I'm, I'm very happy with everything I've, I've picked up um, yeah I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to do anything because I'm, I'm very much on a learning curve but I just wanted you to know that it can be done now I did forget YouTube there's one thing I wanted to show you um, the first, uh, this is the second laser I've got. The first one I returned, and the reason I returned it um, was because I couldn't get it to the the laser wouldn't connect to the computer for some reason. Uh, Lightburn was fine. Lightburn ran, but uh, when I tried to send something from Lightburn to the laser, the laser wouldn't wouldn't uh, receive it. I guess I'm not sure. Um, and also, I was really kind of annoyed because I, I bought the laser from the uh, Sculpt Fun store 
at Amazon. So the Amazon Sculpt Fun store. And the one I got was used. It Well, I, I don't know about used, but it's certainly been opened and set up. And I didn't really put the pieces together until uh, it didn't work. And then I remembered, well, there was some uh, paint missing where the screws set and the, the bags were, were um, unsealed. Um, so anyway, it, it was a used uh, a, a return. And so when I got the new one and set it up and uh, did the same thing, went to run it, it didn't work. Um, so I, I figured there had to be something I was doing wrong. And uh, so I want to show you on the, the Lightburn program, one thing you can try, the one thing I found out anyway, that, that um, was the problem. Okay, so we'll open Lightburn. And let's see, it was in the laser. And it was whatever this was. It might be ports. Yeah, I guess that's the port. Um, for my... For some reason, I have to select the port every time I open Lightburn. Um, let me turn the, the laser on. Okay, so then I open the... So this is what I have to choose here if I want the laser to run. And then it runs fine. But I have to make that selection every time I open Lightburn before I can actually... Uh, before the, the laser will actually run. And here's just a quick peek at what I'm burning now. That's through your, through the amber. I know you can't tell on the camera. And there's no smoke in the house at all. <laughs> if these videos are helpful, I sure would appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.